So this video that you guys are watching right now is probably going to be my final video about RB Battles. But I do have some very good news. This is actually insanely good news for people that wanted the Golden Crown of Courage, but maybe they only just missed it. So yes, this crown right here, we will be able to get this again on this coming Saturday. So that will be Saturday the 4th, guys. And yeah, I know I did slightly hint this in my video from a few days ago, but I wanted to make this video because now it's confirmed. The Golden Crown of Courage is coming back and I believe there's going to be around 5,000 extra. Maybe even more actually because Roblox Battles didn't exactly say how many they were adding but they did say on Saturday the cap for the Golden Crowns will be raised. Anyone who doesn't have one gets one last chance. Anti-cheat is enabled so no cheating. There will be a prompt to opt in to start over for a chance at a gold crown but if not interested you can continue for the regular one. So there you go this is the perfect update. I have got no complaints here whatsoever. And yes, obviously to get it, you're going to have to beat the final battle again, which I'm going to show you how to do because I finally got around to editing it and putting all of my clips together. It took me a long time, not going to lie. I don't think I could have done it without the respawn points. I actually got a crown of courage though. I got it the other day. This video has just taken me so long to edit. Obviously I've had to edit other videos in between, so it's been a bit of a nightmare, but it's finally done. So let me show you guys how I got the crown of courage. And yes, you can apply this method to getting the golden crown on Saturday. The link to the Roblox Battles event will be down below in the video's description, but you would have had to have done all of this stuff anyway, so activating all of the accessories and getting to the subway. Once you've done all of that, the videos still work by the way, then yeah, you can move on to the final battle. So let's not waste any time. The very first step is to open up your inventory and make sure you have all of the activated accessories equipped. There should be three in total, they must be activated. If you haven't done that, go and watch the videos on my channel. The next step is to click on the red Again, if you don't have that, go and watch one of my videos. Links in the description and we are going to equip this. Now we're just going to go over to the Outer City shop because yeah, I'm sure you guys know by now, we need to get to the subway. You have to go to the Outer City. So go to the changing room and make sure you have the special pack selected. So we just go to the final one, the secret power pack. I showed you guys how to get this in one of my previous videos. Like I said, link in the description. So now let's go to the Outer City. We are going to go over to the subway and yeah, we can basically just get to the subway like we normally would. So once you land in the outer city, you just want to go over here to your right and yeah, you basically just want to jump up this building. Then we're just going to go this way. We're just going to jump across there. Like I said, I'm sure you guys know where this is. The time is finished. Maybe a lot of you guys have already finished this. I don't know. Let's just get up here and here we are at the subway door. So let's just go and wait. Now we've just got to wait for all of these to light up and of course that is going to bring us into the subway. So yeah, we should teleport in there in one second. Here you go. Teleporting inside. Next we need to go over to Duncan who has finished building this machine. So we're going to press E to go and speak to him. I've done it. I've done the machine. We're then going to stand on it and it is going to max out the power on our pack. So as you can see, there you go. That is now done. Plus 1000 lightning. So now we're going to go into the subway car. Like I said, guys, make sure you've got the wrench selected for this bit. We're going to go over to the power board. We're going to hold E to power it. DJ will say, Battler, you powered the subway. And now guys, we are going to spawn into the the final battle. All right, guys, so here we are. Once you spawn in on the subway, there's actually something you want to look out for straight away, and that is a secret code. If you look out the window, kind of to your right-hand side in the direction that the subway is traveling, you should be able to see it. So as you can see, it says, what's that? Oh God, it's glowing a lot. Seven, four. There should be another one as well, which is just here. So we've got to do this quick. Seven, four, three, six. Wow, that's hard to see. Anyway, let's type it in. Seven, four, three, six. That code was right. So the door is going to open open it's going to say access granted you need you need to run through the door and get the key card now guys you want to make your way all the way back through you want to go to the engine room you want to click to basically scan your key card to enter the room now you want to go to the control panel we're going to hold e to overwrite the autopilot now once you do this it's going to come up with this mini game thing we basically need to click in the order on the override system and you might get it right first time if you don't don't panic too much because you might be able to do it again but as you can see for me it said success and and now it's working. So we're going to walk back to DJ and Sabrina and we are just going to wait. If you do this incorrectly, the subway will either break here and it will stop traveling or it will go into this like giant slime pit. So yeah, you don't want that to happen. Now at this point, guys, you still want to pay attention because in a second, we need to jump out of the subway car. Yeah, once it gets to this area and you see this kind of like iron girder, you want to jump out because we actually want to jump onto this. Now, as you can see here, guys, we are in this kind of construction 
production facility thing. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. What you want to do is start collecting these batteries and then you want to press F to actually take control of this robot. So let's go and press F. We're going to click on him. Now we've got control of the robot. We are going to use him to actually smash the crates. So we're going to go up to them. We're going to click on our mouse and we are going to destroy these crates. Apologies if I'm going a bit quickly. Basically, I've done this a few times now. So yeah, I kind of know exactly what I'm doing, but hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. Now you want to go to this conveyor belt and you basically just want to jump over it. Be careful though, guys, because if you fall off, then yeah, you will die. You're going to have to start the whole thing over again. Now there's a second robot we want to take control of and did he just fall off the map? Oh no, he respawned. Okay, that's good. So we're going to press F. We're going to click on him to control him. And basically, guys, we're going to do the same thing. We are going to use this guy to destroy more crates. And it's actually the crates up here. Now, for these ones, you want to be a tiny bit careful. You kind of want to copy exactly what I'm doing and destroy them in order. So we're going to destroy this one, then this one. Then we're going to destroy the third one. Then we're going to destroy the fourth one. So pretty much destroy like four all in the same line, right? Then you want to go up the ramp just here. You want to go over to this section and you want to destroy these two crates just so your character can get through so there you go that's all we needed of this robot press f to disconnect and now guys we're just going to follow the path through oh collect some batteries by the way yeah that's one thing i should have said you might need to collect a few more batteries before you do this so i might actually go back to the start of the map oh come on what's my character doing don't fall off yeah i'm just going to go to the start because i want to collect quite a few basically right guys if you hold shift then you get to use your jetpack oh if you want to like regular shift jump like this sort of dive what I'm just currently doing. You're going to hold control. Yeah, they've kind of changed it about a bit, I guess, for the new jetpack thing. So what's that? I'm on 40%. I might try and get it to maybe 60 and then I should be able to move on to the next section. The batteries do respawn. Obviously, you can tell, which is a good thing. So let's go and get this one. There you go. Now I'm on 60. Now let's move on to the next area. Now there's a few more conveyor belts and there's some robots up ahead. So yeah, you want to be kind of careful here. And like I said, guys, if you fall off at this point, you do unfortunately have to start again. So let's just dodge out of the way of all of these robots. Let's get up to the next stage. Now you can use shift to use your jetpack here and that might actually come in handy. Um, you don't have to, to be honest. Like, let me show you what it does, right? So if I just go ahead and hold shift, I can basically fly up here very easily. Like it's kind of nice. So now we're going to go over here. We are going to use this sort of like, um, what are they called again? I don't know. They generate a ton of power into your backpack. Now we are going to use this guys and we need to use our jetpack to basically get up here. Now you want to be a bit careful try not to use all of the power because we will need to use it to fly onto this stage but we're going to use this giant turret to basically destroy a robot so hold e then we have to do this thing again so it was click click there click there click there that should be okay Come on, I surely got that. Yeah, there you go. So we are going to use this giant turret to shoot this evil giant robot, which was killing us earlier. To be honest, I didn't film that part. I just kind of left out because it felt a bit pointless. But yeah, this turret goes and destroys the robot. Now, guys, you want to be careful here. You want to go to the edge. Double click, then do shift. Then you want to use your jetpack to try and get onto this path. It's a little bit tricky. If you fail it, unfortunately, you have to start over again. I don't think there's any checkpoints, which is not that great. I really thought there'd be a checkpoint at this bit as well, but it turns out, guys, there actually wasn't. Anyway, now we're going to use this lift to go up to the top. Now, with this one, guys, you need to get to the top without being killed by these robots. You want to use control. You want to use double jump. They're going to be firing their lasers at you. It's probably going to drive you crazy in a minute. But yeah, you want to try and get to the top. The good thing is it's kind of like sloped at the sides, right? So sometimes if you're quite good at parkour, you can use a lot of like you know crafty tricks to try and glide across the side and get up kind of what like i just did there right i was just using the side of the walls anyway like i was saying we need to get to the top of this thing without falling all the way down so it can be a bit tricky sometimes but just take your time try and dodge all of the um, gunshots and bombs from the robots and you should be able to get up as you can see try and copy me to see what i'm doing right eventually your character might start sliding down but you see that ladder over there that's what we need to get to let me just dive out the way of that spider the good thing is about this part right even though it looks like i'm getting hit quite a bit i'm not really losing that much health as long as you're kind of like quick you should be able to dodge out the way of everything so now we're going to get to the top and i think we did it there we go okay that was quick now we are on to the next section i really really wish there was a checkpoint at this bit because this bit was driving me a little crazy i even had to switch computers i've got a desktop which i got recently i haven't even set it up for videos i'm currently using it because on my older pc which wasn't really so good this part 
part was lagging like crazy. So, so I want to explain what's happening, right? You see these lights on the floor, do not step in them whatever you do. And they still seem to be a bit glitchy. They're sort of like, oh no. They're sort of like jumping about a bit. I wish they were smooth because that would make it easier. I don't know if that's Roblox's fault, but yeah, do not step in those yellow lights whatever you do. So I'm going to try and get past this. So you want to follow it this way. If it starts to come back, you want to move out of the way. Then you want to go through this path. Oh God, no, 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 no. That was bad. No, I did do this earlier, but I died. So I'm trying to remember how I did it. I do remember I went this way and I got onto that section. Okay, maybe we can try that again. Oh, is that? All? Yeah, okay, we might be able to do it. Come on, move, move. Why is that? Okay, it's moving, it's moving. So now we're going to stand here. Okay, it's moving again. Oh, they're so glitchy. What is the problem with these lights, man? This messed up. Okay, we got through. So now we're going to use the override floor system. And what this is going to do, guys, is unlock the bottom floor. But we do need to do another one of these key things. So we're going to click, hold it, click, click, hold. Actually, I think I might have messed that up. Yeah, I messed it up. Don't worry if you do, because you do get a chance to try again. I know sometimes these are a bit hard. Come on, give it to me this time. Come on, that's not bad. Okay, yeah, you go. It gave it to me. So now what's going to happen, guys? is the entire floor is going to open but the problem is we need to do this again but we need to do it four times because we need to get these red keys and we have to place them over here now are these lights glitching like the previous ones i have a feeling they might be okay maybe this time it's not too bad okay let's just give it a try you can use shift as well to quickly like jump out the way of them so let's go this way okay this one doesn't look so bad as the first the first time right it was glitching like the lights were having lag spikes and i know it's not me because i'm using a really good computer now so yeah i think it was some kind of like roblox problem right as you guys can clearly see now yes i'm on my final one but this has been very difficult like you really have to concentrate hard while doing this you have to be very very quick as well because you can easily miss the chance as you can see there i just did a mini speed run that oh, i could have done that i could, literally could have done that i didn't want to risk it though because it's my final one i've got to be incredibly careful here and i finally did it i don't know if i recorded that i don't think i pressed resume on my recorder but whatever i finally did it you guys get the idea go back and forth place all the keys and then you get to this area so what on earth is this hopefully this gives me a checkpoint as well because that part was incredibly difficult that took me a long time so let's see do you know what punk net is it's branded all over this place no, I don't know what it is, but let's see where this lift or whatever it is takes us. Netpunk Factory. I think there was a checkpoint there. I hope so. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what to do here. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to click this. We are going to go into this room. We didn't need to find a robot. Oh, you might need to get a battery first. So we're going to press F to go and control the robots. And what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go in here just to activate it. The robot needs to go on there. Then just click it. Now do F to unselect him. Now you want to go in here and you want to take control of this machine. So basically, just just go on it we're going to press e over here we're going to turn it all the way to the left and then we're going to press q there you go we've got a portal thing set up we need to click this button we need to jump into the portal and there you go we're now across to the other side so i guess guys we're going to go through here let's go up here and wow look at this room there's loads of stuff okay so what we're going to do guys is we are going to click this button here i think then we just need to sit on this machine we're going to actually press q on this one and we're going to rotate we need to go up a bit we're going to press e on this one because because yeah, we basically need to go across here. So that should be fine. Let me jump out of that. Let me go into the portal and let's see, did it work? Okay, now we need to click this button and we can jump down and there you go. I think we did it. Why is my acrobatics stopped? That's a bit strange. Anyway, we're gonna click this. This is gonna bring us up to the top and here we go. Sabrina lost her walkie talkie and mine is about to run out of battery. Please click look up for us. We need to work together. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to activate the robot which is on the roof. I think to activate it, you actually have to go to this point and then we're going to press f we're going to try and select him does it let me there you go now we need to shoot the other robot so mouse to shoot we need to destroy the one which is up here so let's just go and take him out there you go he's dead can we kill ourselves? no i don't think we can so we're gonna so we're just gonna press f to deselect him he's confused anyway oh my acrobatics is working again there we are now what we have to do guys is get some robots which are over here so let me see how do we do that so let me activate this button i'm just going to click it then i'm going to press f we're going to get a robot so we're just gonna go and get this guy oh wait i might have to unselect actually oh this robot shooting me for god's sake yeah i don't really know how to kill that guy okay we can try it from here because from here he won't be able to kill me there we are that's better so we're gonna get this guy he needs to come across here i think we're actually gonna get a few robots just to be safe so i'm gonna get this guy i'm actually gonna go and put him on the lift then i'm gonna unselect with f we're gonna get another guy as well so let me just go and get him and again we're gonna walk him across we're also gonna put him in the lift i might get free just to be 
safe. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea because there's so many robots coming out of this. So I'm going to go and get this guy as well. Let's just go and put him there. There you go. We've got three robots. Now we're going to get another one, guys, because we need one to power the portal gun. So we're going to take this guy. We're just going to go and put him over here. He is going to power this gun. So we're just going to click him in place. There you go. That's going to activate the button. And now we should be able to press F. I mean, it's the button he activates, not the gun. Then we're going to click this and we just have to get over to the lift. So we've got three little bot friends. We're going to go downstairs. They're pretty much miniature Duncans, right? And we are going to use these guys to help us solve the puzzle. Then guys, we're going to click the button to build the bridge. Then we're going to get our bots across. I guess I could get across first. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's press F. Let's go and select them. We're just going to get this guy first. So there we are. Take him across. He can go there. We're going to get another one. So let's go and select this guy. And again, just bring him across and put him there. That's fine. Now we just need to get the last bot and we're going to also walk him across the bridge. Make sure you don't fall off, by the way. Don't lose any of your bots at this point because, yeah, you do need them. So we're just going to put him there and then we can get across ourselves. I think that's it. So let's get across to the other side. And there we are. We're not doing too bad. OK, so make sure to get some batteries at the spawn here. Just go and collect a few of those. Then we're going to bring across a bot. So we're going to press F. We're going to select one. We need to bring them over here. Oh, wait, I think I forgot to bring across the bridge. Oh, one second guys it doesn't matter the batteries will respawn but let me just go and enable the bridge there we are that's what we needed then we're just going to bring this guy across so he goes across here he goes in the place which we can't get in because it's too small it's like a tiny gap so he's going to go through here and he is going to activate this laser portal machine or whatever it's called we need to click on it that's him in place that's activated on this point guys we need to shoot a blue portal which is eight so we're going to press e here it's going to shoot a portal there you go we're going to press f for done now we'll just get a few more batteries because yes guys you do need more power then we should be able to go through the portal so let's just go through there there we are we've got the robot in here and i think we can like drag these or something would you just click them oh, i see how it works right so you just click them a bit and this guy i guess we can take him off so let's just go and click on him okay so yeah you click that one. Oh, i thought he was stuck there now we need to make him go out i, I don't think we need him in here anymore but we're gonna put him here because we might need him just there in the future so now we're gonna press f now we need to adjust the portal so that's an e up there so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting a q up here so let's go and do that let's press q then guys we're going to jump off and we are going to go through it this should actually work let's have a look there you go okay so now we are in a new area there is already a robot shooting at me but yes this is the new place this is where you need to be be able to take out the robots here actually if you go this direction and just get behind the wall here they won't be able to kill you so as you can see there's three in total if you press f and then you select this guy you can actually take these ones out which are shooting you so what we're going to do we're going to shoot them we're we're going to destroy them before they kill us. So let's go and kill this guy quickly as well. There you go. That's them dead. Now we press F. And seeing as this guy is stunned, we should be able to get over to him and click him. But my thing is broken. Oh, God. Yeah, my um, shift thing keeps on breaking, guys. And I don't know why. If this happens to you to fix it, you might want to go on one of these machines or something. Make sure to click this button right here if it's blue. And that's going to open the door for you. Then I'm just going to jump down because I need to get that robot. So let's just press F. Let's go and select him. And he is going to go through here. And he is going to activate. It must be this. Yes. Yeah, so if we click him on this, does that work? Oh, there you go. Okay, we're not doing too bad so let's press f to unselect him so now we've got to activate that bit over there so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to go back and i'm going to get another robot maybe i can fix my glitch if i sit on this and then jump off did that fix it nope oh well we're just going to get another robot so i'm going to press f to control one of these guys and we are going to bring them over there basically to activate that little switch or button or whatever it is so we're going to bring him over there he's going to go down don't fall off by the way we are going to go and activate this so let's click on it that should now do something i think okay we're gonna press f to unselect that oh my acrobatics is working now okay so now we're gonna need to make a portal um what color was it and uh, wait we used purple last or pink right so this time we're gonna have to use blue i think i'm remembering that correctly there's a blue one let's just go and dive into that hopefully that's right yes it was right and my animations are working. So can I click my mouse? No, oh, it's still a bit broken. I don't really know what's going on with this, guys. I'm having a bit bad luck, but we should be able to go over here and we should be able to activate this machine anyway. I think it's my recording software. Every time I resume my recording, my animations glitch. Oh, well, let's just do this. So pretty much, guys, what you're supposed to do is move these buttons to basically get the paths to link up. So what we're going to try is we're just going to click these. And as you can see, yeah, they literally move around. So I think we have to get that one like that for I think we have to angle it at the side so maybe something like that yeah that looks right because that links up now number one we're gonna have to turn that round so wait 
that might be right. Yeah, I think that's all we have to do there. And once we've done that, guys, we need to get a third robot up here. So can you remember that other robot which I told you to get earlier? Yeah, we're going to need to use this guy. Yes, you can use the portal that you've got there. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump down. We're going to go and find the bot which we had at the start, which would be that guy right there. We're going to use him to basically get him up. You can use the portals, which is cool. So we're going to press F. We're going to select him. We're just going to go and make him go through the portal. That's why I shot it close to the ground, by the way. So now he's going to go to the top and we're going to use him. So we want to go through this hole in the floor. And if you angle these correctly, you should be able to do it. Don't fall off. Otherwise, the bot will die. So let's just go here. Then let's just go and connect him. We're just going to click on that. There you go. He's connected in place. We're going to press F. Now, I think, guys, we need to do the same thing, but at the other side, right? I mean, that makes sense. So let's go across here to this way. We're going to need to take the lift again. So we're going to have to click the button. But I think we've run out of robots, but I think that's fine because we can go and get another one. So let's just click on that. We're going to go up. That guy on the roof might start shooting you. So maybe be a little bit careful, but we're going to go this way. Now we need to press F. We need to gain control of one of these bots. Oh, not this one. He needs to stay there. Hang on. How am I going to do this? That one. Right, that guy's not shooting me, is he? No, he's not. Okay, good. So we need to go across here as this guy and we need to get to there, I think. Oh, do I need to shoot a portal on that? Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So let's go on the portal gun. We need another little robot guy for the gun anyway. So let me just go and activate that one. No, not this one again. Come on, this thing's a bit annoying. Okay, there we are. So this guy's going to activate the gun. I'm trying to remember what color it was. Last time we did purple, right? So I think we need to do blue, hopefully, because if we mess it up, it's going to be very annoying. So we're going to place him there. Then we're going to go on the gun. Then we're going to shoot blue, if I remember correctly. So it's going to be E for a blue one. Yeah, then we're going to jump off. Now we just need to go over here quickly without getting shot. Oh god, we're getting shot here. Oh, he's gone. Okay, now we're going to do F on this guy. We're going to get him to go in here. He's going to teleport. Okay, yeah, that's where we wanted. So now, wait, is this the wrong side though? Okay, I think I know what to do here. We're going to go, we're going to select him by pressing F and clicking on him. Then we're going to put him in the middle of three. Yeah, you want to put him in the middle so he doesn't fall off. Maybe about here. Then we're going to press F. Then we're going to go to three and we are going to turn it. We're just going to turn it to the side. So maybe like that. There you go. That's perfect. Now we need to turn around two because we need to turn it around twice so he can basically go on it. So we're going to turn it like that. We're going to press F. We're then going to select him again. This time, guys, we're going to move him to two, but make sure he's in the middle block so he doesn't fall off. Maybe about there. That should be okay. Now we're just going to go back to two. We're going to turn that around a couple of times. So maybe one like that, then two again. Then we need to select him again. And I think that should be okay because now we should be able to mount him on this little um, plug socket, whatever the heck it is. So we're going to mount him there. That room's going to set on fire. Okay, that's interesting. And then we're going to unmount and okay, we've got something crazy going on. Let me go and grab another like potion or whatever. Not potion, battery. Yeah, we need another one. Actually, I think we still need him because we only needed him to activate that room on fire to burn all the blocks, right? So now we're going to disconnect them. We're going to bring him back to two in the middle. Or oh, I've already got one in position, so that's fine. We're going to go all the way across. If your one's looking a bit different, you might want to click on it. But we do need to bring him into this area and now he's over here. But, oh wait, do we need to get on the other side? Oh no, have I messed it up? Oh, I I think I've done that wrong, guys. I think we're going to have to go all the way over to the other side. Oh, well, I've only got 10% battery left, but let's leave him there. So I'm going to do two a couple of times to just go and spin that round. So then he can go on to three. Oh, okay, I get it. And then four, how do I position that correctly? Oh, okay. So this is going to take a few tries, basically. So let's put four like that. Let's go and get him again. So he's just going to go there. Now I need another battery. So let me just go and collect that around the corner. Three, I'm going to have to click that one so it spins all the way around. Then I need to go and select him again. I could have done it with the other robot, actually, but I've already done it with this guy now, so that's fine. Let's just go and put him there like that. We're going to press F. Then four, we need to spin that around. And I also need to get another battery. So, okay, we're going to have to wait for that to spawn in. It's spawned in, so let's go and collect it. Grab that. Then we just need to get him. So let's go and press F. Then let's just go and double click on him. Oh, no, wait, I didn't turn forward away round. Oh, that was a waste. All right, we're just going to make sure four is in that direction. There you go. Now we need to collect another battery. Hopefully once spawned in, or it should do in a second. So let's finally do the final bit. We're going to activate him again. We're going to go through here. We are going to find it. There you go. It was on the other side, which was annoying, but we're going to click it. And there you go. It's now activated. The lift should now be working. We might need to unactivate him at some point, but for now that's fine. I think we need to get ourselves across. So once we're up here, we're going to get one of our robots. We're going to get this guy, actually. We're going to bring him out onto number three, and we basically need to get over there right so i'm just going to put him right there then we need to change 
change the direction of our number three and that should be it so let's just go let's click it that's going to go around to that way so now we need to get another battery i'm just going to wait for one one spawned in guys so let's go and collect this there you go now we're just going to jump over let me just go and select this guy again so let's just click on him and we are going to bring this guy over here do not fall off do not go into that giant fire pit but we are going to bring him this way and he will be the portal gun and that is how we get across so oops oh no i accidentally clicked f oh no i messed it up wait let me get one of my other bots well i'm such an idiot so this time we're gonna click it okay there we go now we need to shoot um two portals right we're gonna shoot one here for q so we're gonna shoot that one and that one oh wait there was another e or can we shoot a portal here as well just to get across wait would that work if we do e there yeah that should work shouldn't it wait let me just click on that again now we're just gonna do f now if i go into that room which was just around the corner here i'm pretty sure that's how we get across and i think we're supposed to right so the fire's turned off all of the crates have been destroyed now we go in the portal now we're across here and does that mean we can activate the elevator or something oh wait i don't have any batteries left oh i'm getting sick of this puzzle oh for god's sake that's why you always need so many batteries let me go and get one so i have 20 percent battery now i think that should be enough so if i go up to this guy i'm gonna do f to activate him i need to come off right then the lift's gonna come down oh i see how it works then i'm basically gonna have to activate him again so let me just unselect this guy let me wait for the lift to come down then i guess we need to stand on it i need to activate this guy again that's why i got 20 percent so we're gonna go and click on it then i'm gonna press f and then the lift is gonna go up okay i think we're finally getting somewhere guys sorry that took so long honestly doing this puzzle it's a little bit tricky i was really really confused at parts so is there any batteries up here i feel like batteries should be spawning in why is there nothing here oh no i need another robot well i think we can turn this conveyor off if we're careful so i think to turn it off guys you need to go in this direction but like i said be really careful because you can easily fall off here i'm gonna try and play this safe but yeah there's actually like a button thing right over here and if you can get onto that button part literally this part here there you go you can click it and that turns the conveyor off okay oh, i didn't know i needed another robot though um oh how am i gonna do this i might be able to send like a ton of robots up here surely yeah i've got a plan wait so okay so let me do e on here okay so we've got e on here i'm gonna jump off there i'm then gonna jump back down to the spawn because if i shoot another like purple portal on here so i'm just gonna do on close to the ground i'm just gonna send up a ton of robots like i'm getting fed up of this clearly we need loads and loads of robots then i'm gonna go in this direction i need to activate that yeah i'm just gonna send up so many robots because why does it keep on coming up saying i need more i know this is supposed to be a guide it's more like me just figuring it out as i go along at the time of recording this not everyone's got the golden crown by the way this is gonna take me absolutely hours to edit as well oh god this is a nightmare all right i'm gonna be up in a second guys okay i'm back guys this time with like 100 battery so let's just get a ton of these robots oh, again it's gonna use this one it's wasting my power every time it glitches like that come on okay that one's fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this one we're gonna bring them over to there using the portals so we need to do a pink portal here right actually i'm just gonna check this footage to make sure i did that right yeah i just checked the footage i need to do a pink one so what we're gonna do we're gonna shoot a q for a pink portal over there then we're gonna jump off this we're gonna go and get another robot so let's press f let's go and collect this guy just before he's about to get incinerated let's save this guy's life we're gonna go over here now the question is guys how many should i get should i get two of them should i get three of them should i get four of them or should i get 100 well how many you want to get you basically want to make them go all the way over here and we are gonna go and place this guy down so i think i'm gonna put him about there what happens if i connect him oh i guess we can just find out what happens oh it opens these okay that's interesting i'm gonna get a few more though because i don't believe that's all we need so let me go collect this guy no nope, that didn't work okay i'll get this one then there you go that one worked so i'm gonna bring this guy over over here uh this guy needs to activate something inside of this room i think yeah this guy needs to go in here he needs to go under here and he has to activate this pad which is the keypad for the door so no i pressed f i'm an idiot i pressed f instead of clicking i'm gonna go through myself because i 
think that should be okay. I could probably still select that guy from last time, right? If I just go through into the control room. I did see a battery over here as well. So I guess we can go and pick that up. There it was. Sabrina's talking. They've got DJ or something. Let me go and select this guy. Then let me click. That's going to open it. There we go. So now we're going to go through here. Do we need another guy? I don't know. Oh, I think I get it. We, I have to go through the door. Okay, right. I get it. So we select him. Then he needs to go here. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave him on there for now because I need to go through. Wow, I'm going to have to get more power. One second, guys. I'll show you how to do it once I've got a few batteries. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and do this now. Let me just go and select this guy. Then I've got to make sure he is clicked on here. Then once he's clicked, I press F to go off. Then I go over here and I need to get this one. I think I need to click this button. Okay, so that opens that door. Right, I see. So I think I've got to click that. Then I've got to go and get this guy again. Then I unselect that door, right? And he can come through to this door. Then I need to press F to deselect him. Then I think I need to click the button, but get through there. There you go. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Now I'm in this area. I need to get another battery. And I basically need to get this robot through. So if I can go and select him, let's see. Does he go here? Then I need to click the button again. What? Can I just do that? Click that and get through. I think I'm doing this right. Then I go and click this guy again. Then this guy needs to go on here, right? So click that. Then press F. Oh, wow. This is so confusing. Then I need to click the button again. What? Get through there. Okay. Then I get another battery. Then I'm through to this area. Right. Okay. I can get two batteries here. So do I need to click that button? Ah, okay, right. We're getting somewhere. Now I need to select him. He has to be selected on there though. So that door can open. Oh God. I hate these puzzles. What does that do again? Oh, maybe I do that, then I select him. Is that what you're supposed to do? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. So I put him there like that. Then I can go through. And then I think all I have to do is press that button. Oh, I've done it. There you go. Hopefully you guys could follow that. Um, I'll try and edit it so it's a bit simple. Then I'm going to place this guy there. Then press F and I think we're through. Okay, what is this? Oh God, another puzzle. Okay, now on this bit, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do because people are telling me you don't actually need to set up this portal gun sort of thing. It's sort of like a... I don't know like a lion away i think what we're supposed to do is go over here we're supposed to press f and we need to get one of the robots which is up there let me try and stand on here to try and get it so we click on that one is that how we do it i can see a robot up there okay there you go i got it i got the robot so i think we're supposed to get it all the way down there on this conveyor belt yeah you literally have to jump all the way down time your jump well now we need to go in this direction and we need to mount it somewhere over here i think it must be just here yeah that's the place i can see so we're going to go and click Click to mount it there. There you go. It's going to activate. We're going to press F. Don't fall off whatever you do, guys. And once you've done that, guys, you want to go and get your other robots. So that'd be this robot here. You want to press F. You want to go and select him. The door's going to close. Don't worry. You just want to click on him. Go close to the door. Press F. Then you want to click the button to go and open the door. Then we're going to press F to go and use him again. We're going to bring him through and maybe just put him over here or something. I don't know. Just press F to keep him there. Then we should be able to close this door. It's going to say friendship detected because you're not really supposed to have a robot in here. And this whole like alarm thing is going to go off. Then I think what we need to do, guys, is actually jump down here. Yeah, we need to go this way. So jump onto this thing. Then just jump onto the conveyor belt, but don't fall off. Then we're just going to go over here and we are going to go and press this button. So then the conveyor belt is going to start moving and we basically just need to get through here, guys. You can actually stay on it if you want to. Then just go and jump over here. Then I think we need to turn on the incinerator. It's going to destroy all the blocks. Then we need to go and use this sort of path thing. That's going to make a path across there. Then we need to go in this direction. And I think, guys, we're supposed to jump down here. I know it looks a little sketchy, but as you can see, the fire is turned off. I'm kind of feeling a bit daring. I think we're supposed to go down there. Okay, I'm going to try it. If this doesn't work, I'm actually going to quit. Oh, wait, I think it's working. Please say this worked. Yes, Battle Dome. Okay, finally, we're getting somewhere. So finally, guys, we are on to the Battle Dome. Now, this one is an obby kind of thing. As you can see, we literally have to get around the Battle Dome. We have to go all over this obby, and then we have to press a red button. DJ and Sabrina are going crazy. They're saying, press the red button, press it now. So we are going to collect these batteries. Then you're going to jump off the map because there is actually a trick in RB battles. Yeah, if you die, then respawn at the checkpoint. You can actually collect more batteries. And this is like the easiest way of getting your battery percentage up to 100. It's kind of a trick and yeah, it's pretty useful. And I've actually got another trick to show you right now. Once you've got 100%, you want to stand on the edge of this sort of like ledge here, right? And 
you want to fly over to this part of the ledge which is directly opposite this pipe just where the glass dome is so we're going to double jump control then shift to use our jetpack then control again then shift and we're just going to get here now as you can see that time i failed it but sometimes you can actually get on the ledge let me try it again like i was saying let me just try that again sometimes you can actually do it oh god i just wasted way too much fuel there but i should be able to get on the ledge yes there you go so this is what you want to do you want to get on the ledge just like this and you basically just want to walk the entire way around this is a cheat i don't know if they are going to patch this i'm surprised it took so long for people to find this out shout out to the kid which showed me this on discord don't worry if you use too much jetpack fuel because you can get to this area and you can collect even more so there you go that's a nice little cheat for you guys it just makes it a lot easier i guess i was just waiting for more batteries to spawn in but surprisingly enough guys you can also do it on this wall here so let me just try this let me just try and get up yeah it does actually work i was really surprised about this to be honest so there you go let me just fly onto this bit just around the corner there and there you are but the thing is you really want as much jetpack fuel at this point as possible because obviously we're going to need our fuel to fly up in a second but this is a lot easier than sort of you know jumping over all of these pads and stuff doing it that way is going to be incredibly difficult now somewhere at this point guys you want to be very careful because the ledge sort of goes invisible so maybe i would recommend jumping on this and just going up the normal way actually let me see let me see how close you can get i think it was just before this pipe here to be honest so yeah i'm probably just going to jump onto this platform here because that's going to be easier for me then just let me jump across onto this one then we're just going to jump across onto there even though i just messed that up So there you go, I did it. Let's go and press the red button. And so there we are, guys. That is like the easiest way of doing the battle dome. It definitely makes it a lot easier once you know this trick. So now there's like a whole nother cutscene thing. I guess we're just gonna press the button. Oh, that's a checkpoint, by the way. So yeah, we're gonna get the checkpoint. That's good. Then we're gonna press the button. And I think this is gonna start us on Bella's mini game. So here we are, guys, on Lava Escape. Round one, I, Bella versus us. Now, what you guys wanna do is pretty much copy exactly what what I'm doing. I am actually going to be showing you guys a very clever shortcut and it will help you complete this a lot faster. If you were struggling with this and Bella was faster than you or you kept on dying then yeah make sure to watch my trick. I'll let you know when it's on the screen and you can follow me because it's a really really good shortcut and it makes this lava escape mini game so much easier. So once you're at this point guys with these sort of like turning beams whatever they are turning squares right what you want to do is stand on top of the final one you want to double jump slide off the wall then do that sort of like shift dolphin dive thing and you basically want to get on top of that wooden platform as you can see i just did it there and there you go this is a massive shortcut if you guys were struggling with this well that is how you complete it a lot faster it really does make this mini game a lot easier so as you guys can see i'm just about to finish it now and yeah that's basically it that is how you beat bella in lava escape and win every single time let's move on to the next round Round. So the next mini game thing guys is actually us versus Creecraft and Tanker. Yeah, they've teamed up and basically we have to hit these targets to score the most points. Obviously, we have to score more points than Tanker and Creek to win. So pretty much just spam click your mouse and hit as many points as possible. That's all I can really say about this mini game. It's not really that difficult. Also, by the way, if you lose this, it doesn't really matter. I'll explain why in a second. The only thing you don't want to shoot are those sort of like mines that kind of bombs if so if you hit one of those they explode and you do lose points now as you guys can see at this point there is only one second left and for me it said i won i don't really know why because i got less targets but yeah i don't really understand what was going on there i think because i didn't win it put me on this sort of like dennis game mode i've seen some people get this dennis mini game and i've seen some people that haven't got it so it's a bit strange but the dennis mini game if it does appear for you do not worry because it's very very easy you can't really lose this to be honest i'm sure you've played roblox battles mini games anyway basically this one's the coin collecting one so you run around the map very fast you just collect coins hatch pets out of the eggs by pressing q i think these pets give you coin multipliers and yeah you just get more coins and you should very very easily be able to beat dennis here as you can see i got like a thousand points he only got like a few hundred so yeah that was pretty simple and the final mini game guys is us versus pink leaf oh and by the way if i didn't say this already i don't believe there's 
checkpoints in between these mini games. So if you die on one, yeah, you have to start from the beginning on the Bella one. Anyway, on the Pink Leaf mini game, all you guys basically want to do is just follow the route I'm taking. Now, I'm going to be honest, in the footage you're watching right now, I was really, really bad at the parkour. I kept on messing it up, but I still won. So yeah, who cares, right? It doesn't really matter. So pretty much just follow where I'm going. And I would say the best advice for this mini game is as soon as you've clicked six buttons, then get to the top to click the seventh one. So again, apologies for this gameplay. I know it's, oh God, it's so messy and bad. I can't actually believe I won this. Anyway, yeah, you just want to go around the map, start clicking buttons, take the route that I used. Apparently this is like the best route you can get. To be honest, yeah, I could kind of see why because there was like loads of buttons here and it was pretty easy to get to the top of the map this way as well. So I found another button down there. Then I just went this way, jumped up there. I found another button. As you can see, there's literally loads of buttons. But like I was saying, just get six of them. And then once you've got six, just like make your way to the top ASAP. Be careful on some parts. There's spikes, there's boulders, all kinds of like traps and stuff. You know, don't get caught out by those. Also, these platforms which disappeared, they were driving me crazy, actually. They kept on glitching and sending my avatar falling all the way down yeah a bit frustrating not gonna lie but eventually i did get to the top believe it or not so here you go this is the final part this is like climbing the final spire to the top we click the final button and we did it we beat pink leaf it took me a few tries but it wasn't too bad all right guys so here we are on the next stage this one is called retro reef i think it said and what you want to do straight away is just start collecting these batteries because as you can see your percentage does go down by one each time now if it gets to zero guys this black hole will spawn in and basically kill you so yeah we don't want that to happen make sure to fill up on quite a lot of batteries and basically we are looking for free crystals we need to find free pink crystals to pretty much activate these little shrines and then we can gain access of a crab robot so let me just get a few more batteries here before we do that and yeah let's just go and get the crystals so the first one is actually in a red kind of plant we're just going to go over to it there you go first pink crystal unlocked it should actually follow you around the map if you go and collect it so there we are we've got it the second one is actually by a palm tree just up here it should be somewhere here there it is just by the palm tree go and walk into it there you go now you've got it and the third one guys is actually by a waterfall now i'm just gonna get a few more batteries because i don't really want to run out of charge that would be very frustrating i would recommend getting a hundred percent battery before you actually control the crab thing so let's just get the final one which is somewhere here in the waterfall there it is go and collect it then just let me quickly get one more battery now i'm just gonna jump up here and we need to control the crab so what i'm going to do guys is press f then just go and click on it oh, we need to place the crystals first i nearly forgot put the crystals in the shrines then press f then go and control the crab there we are finally i can move him and we're going to go in this direction what we're looking for guys is yeah we need to go underwater we need to find a key card but we need to do this fairly quickly because like i said if you don't do this quickly you will actually die you're going to run out of battery percentage so we're looking for like these dust piles i guess that's what you could call them you're supposed to dig them and we're trying to find a key card so as you can see in that one i didn't get it so for me this is not looking too good okay i'm on 70 percent it's going down slowly let's just go and try this one here no nothing there again oh dear come on there's another one i really need this key card my battery percentage is getting so low uh let's go and try this one maybe oh i finally got it that's what it looks like okay so it's just random it could literally be any of the um sand piles or whatever so now we're just gonna go out we're gonna put the crab just here so i can go and collect him don't forget to get some more batteries and we can basically take the key card from him so let's just go and take it there you go we've got the key card and the door we want to enter guys is actually in the waterfall yeah you want to go to the waterfall where we've got that pink crystal from and if you open a secret door using the key card it brings us somewhere new so let's go and have a look let's see where it brings us we're going to go and open it it's going to open a secret door and there is a new checkpoint so we're going to grab that straight away because i like checkpoints and we are in a new area what the heck is this oh beware the great woman what the heck is this so yeah guys i think i know where i'm going all you want to do is just follow me so let's just go and jump into the vents now what we're going to do first is take a left in a second so just keep on walking in a straight line like this then we're going to take a left so sudden left then we're going to take a right go up here then we're going to wait for the steam to come from the roof there's the steam now wait until you get to the very end and we're going to take a left 
So there you go, left very quickly. Now at this point, guys, we want to take a left again just here. And somewhere at this point, we need to take a right. And it's just before you get to the end. So this bit here, then we're going to carry on going and we're going to go left again. Now we're on this corridor. We're going to carry on going straight. So yep, just carry on just like this. I'm probably going to leave this unedited. So sorry if I have long pauses, but we're going to carry on going. Then we're going to go right. You might hear she stopped chasing you and I think we should be at the end. So now we're going to jump down here and as you can see we're in a secret area. DJ was doing a T pose. So that's always cool. And there we are. That's how you do it. So what we're going to do here guys is we are going to use our key card to actually unlock this door. And yeah it's basically the same area as last time which is kind of strange. But this door should lead us onto the final battle. So you want to walk through. And yeah the final battle it's apparently pretty difficult. Obviously I haven't played it yet so I'm about to find out. On the final battle the first thing you want to do is activate the checkpoint because yes if you die you do want to try again then you want to go in the lift and it's going to bring us to the top there's some nice lift music it kind of reminds me of portal by the way it's pretty cool and once it brings you to the top let's go the boss is going to come out but let's just start stocking up on batteries because yeah we can actually use our jetpack so oh god there's like a cutscene i think so here we are guys on to the final 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 battle yeah this is pretty much like almost the end of robux battles so what i did straight away is I went over to my right because there was like this big pink crystal thing which I ended up walking up and yeah I just carried on going in this direction. Honestly guys if you copy the path I'm taking right here this is like the best way to defeat this robot the quickest. So you want to get to the top bit there's some robots if you want some batteries for your jetpack you can go ahead and destroy those then you want to go through the cave just here you want to go down and there is going to be a lot of lava you have to be very very careful here. Honestly at this point it's kind of easy to fall into the lava I almost fell in like a couple of times but luckily for me my jetpack saved me anyway I carried on going yeah you have to do this for quite a bit then eventually you'll get to this bit where you have to jump over destroy three more robots you can get some more batteries now these robots here I would recommend not going near them because they will kill you if, if you go around the side you shouldn't die then you want to equip this robot it's going to say final battle and you want to fly down fairly low like fairly close to the lava and you just want to start punching the giant robot or JP as you guys can see at the very top of the screen there is a hp bar for this guy and yeah you basically want to get that as low as possible so fly low to the ground just fly around keep on clicking your mouse to punch it and eventually you will start killing this guy like his health will go down quite a lot make sure to stay low so he can't kill you and, and yeah then this animation thing happened where he grabs your robot then he goes and escapes and basically this part is done you're going to fly it down this tube in the middle and it's going to bring you onto the very last battle now for this there's like this hovercraft dj rooster so and Sabrina are on it and JP who is the villain. So what you have to do on this part guys is dodge out the way of the lava and you want to click your cyber shredder on the bombs to basically hit them into the force field. A lot of people were telling me this part is very hard. Honestly I didn't really find it that difficult. I managed to complete it I don't know maybe like three tries it took me. Anyway once you destroy the force field yeah be fairly quick about it. Then you want to jump onto the ship and here we are going to fight this JP guys. So this battle was kind of easy you just want to spam him basically then he dies or flies away i don't know i was kind of confused for some people he flies into the lava and dies for other people he escapes for me he escaped so i don't really know what's going on there is that like an alternate ending or something i'm really not too sure guys but then that is it you will go to the metaverse and that is basically the end of rb battles there's like this whole cutscene thing where you fly through different places i think it's different places on like the badges we had to collect for the winner's wings so maps like adopt me that mount everest thing it's got piggy on there all different types of roblox games and yeah you carry on flying then you wake up on a spaceship you can talk to j party who's an admin if you want to or you can just exit the ship and go to the final now the final is still important because obviously we want the crown of courage right so to get the crown of courage you just want to walk through this whole sort of like ceremony thing everyone's cheering there's like confetti and music you get the idea and yeah you want to walk to the very end of this and there you will be able to pick up the crown it's actually a trophy the roblox battles trophy fees so go and collect that it's also a congratulations battler not many roblox students made it this far and there you go guys that is it that is how you get the crown that is all you have to do we now own it if you enjoyed this video leave a like or subscribe thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one